Volatility index, or VIX, or volatility 75 indexes, is a symbol for the Chicago Board Options Exchange. It is a measure of the price fluctuation over the next 30 days in the S&P 500 index. The volatility index is often known as the fear index. VIX can measure and calculate the level of implied volatility. There is a wide range of options that you can get. This indicator can help the investors by reflecting the best predictions of near-term market situations. In general, the volatility index starts to rise during the period of financial stress. It is the best market's prediction of near-term volatility. VIX is a measure of future volatility, and traders can use this indicator to better set stop loss and target price level. This indicator can help traders to decide when to close the trade. Implied volatility is known as projected volatility. It is one of the important and necessary metrics for traders. It allows them to consider how the volatility of the market is going further in the future. This is one of the best ways to calculate the probability of the market. Through this method, you can forecast how the market will move shortly. As it is implied, the traders and marketers cannot use their past performances. However, VIX is sometimes criticized as a prediction of future volatility. Instead, it is described as a measure of the current price of index options. Critics claim that despite a sophisticated formulation, most volatility forecasting models' predictive power is similar to that of plain vanilla measures, such as simple past volatility. Hello traders, this is Igor from FX Eager YouTube channel. Right now we're talking about volatility index or WEX. As we said in the previous part of this video, volatility index or VIX or volatility 75 indexes is a symbol for the Chicago Board Options Exchange and it's a measure of the price fluctuation of the next 30 days in the S&P 500 index. Right now, we are on tradingview.com page and we are looking at VIX chart. Uh, it's very important take that just in the beginning to say that um, Wix was given the nickname the fear index because of the increased demand for portfolio protection times when the market is under pressure. So it's very easy. We have a market for the bullish market S&P 500 and then Wix index will go down and it we see for example some problems in stock markets some um, some crazy crazy moments every anything crazy and bad for market then we will see some kind of spike and wix chart and because of that we call wix index as a fear index uh, this is the for example the first step we need to talk about now let me, in the first part, talk a little bit S&P 500 and WIX. So let me look, for example, one example for last couple of years. And on this chart, we can see above S&P 500 and below WIX index. It's very easy to see on this picture that when we see that WIX is rising, at the same time, fear arises. And when we see that fear dissipates, in that moment, S&P 500, 500 uh, index is going up. And we have a stable market, S&P 500 will go up and WIX will go down. It's very simple. For example, what we see for a couple years, the same thing. We can see on this image that S&P 500 is going up in some moments. In that moments, Wix is going down, etc. Um, what I need to tell you about this projections and everything, uh, you need to understand that scientists try to calculate, and they realize that between 80 to 85 percent of the time, um, we can call this correlation as inverse correlation so in between 80 and 85 percent when wix rises s p 500 is going down when s p 5 is going going up then wix is going down so it's not 100 percent it's not all the time so i need to repeat this it's not the all the time that we have 
this inverse correlation. So and this is this is not just so simple. The next thing I want to present, for example, last 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 five years. Okay, so on this chart we are looking for last five years, and you can see the huge spike in the 2020 year. So let me go there. This is the date around between 16 March 2020 and uh, 23rd March 2020. So it is the end of March month in 2020. So what's happened then? As we know, it was the day and it was the week when pandemic COVID-19 is announced and from that day, in several months, we had a huge problems in economy worldwide. Um, in many, many countries, economy just uh, stopped. We have a huge problem in tourism and um, and air, airplane companies and uh, their stocks just just went down and a lot, a lot of problems, uh, a, a lot of um, increase of number of unemployed and uh, persons and a lot of, a lot of problems around the globe and this particularly in america this happened and this volatility is a practical example of wix fear index so in the end of the march 2020 we had fear moment and just just that but there is a one i need to say one huge problem here when we talk about when you talk about VIX index. And that huge problem is about critics, about VIX index. So in the theory, we know that uh, volatility prediction, VIX index is implied volatility, it's projected volatility, that is important necessary metrics for traders that allows them to consider how the volatility of the market is going further in the future, etc., etc. But I and a lot of scientists and a lot of people have some critics about this. And uh, Dix, um, Wix is sometimes criticized as prediction of future volatility because me and a lot of people think that Wix is just a measure of current price index options. And uh, it's not it's not prediction model. And uh, I just want to say a few words about that. For example, if you want to predict something, you collect the data, you have a data, and what you do, you find the part of that, the data, or you find a new, new data, you want to test. So you need to test your model on unseen data. And when you do that, when you do that kind of testing, we can tell, okay, this model is 80% accurate or this model is 80% accurate or so on and so on. But Wix is not designed for future prediction because if you, for example, take this Wix index on month December 2020, do you know what will be the Wix level next month in January 2021? Or do you know volatility next three months? Or can you predict the volatility in the first part of next year? I cannot. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to predict price level. It's very, it's very hard to predict volatility level. Everything is hard. Sometimes mistakes are huge. Because you cannot know what will happen with market. So everything that you see right now, all these prices, all this volatility, it's created from complicated formula. Okay, I admit that it's complicated. But show current volatility prices, not predicted. Not, I, I don't know what will be in the future using this chart. And... Um, I can see maybe the trend. I can assume that if I have, for example, right now I'm watching Wix 
and I presume that in the beginning of next year we'll have a stable market. I don't know that. It's very hard to predict. I cannot tell it's impossible, but it's very hard to predict. The problem is the market in the next year can be stable because of my fundamental opinion, because uh, uh, COVID is, uh, will pass, I hope. I know that there is a vaccine about that. I know that the world economy try to recover from everything. I, I see on this chart that from March till now to December, every single day volatility is uh, smaller and smaller. And uh, I hope uh, that, um, that S&P 500 is going up and so on. It's just, I can try to assume what will happen. I just, just create assumption and this is it. I cannot go more from that. And this is a very important thing. So, for example, if I decide right now to trade, can I use the Wix? The first step that I will do is I will go to Stock Screener. There is an excellent Stock Screener at Trading View, Trading View Screener. All these links you can find uh, in the description of this video, so don't worry about this. So I'm going here. And there is a Google, for example, or I have last price, I have change in price, I have the rating. For example, uh, we can read the sell, I have volume, I, can, I have market cap, and I have a lot of, a lot of uh, um, informations. information. For example, I know there's a number of um, employees is uh, more than... 118,000 people, it's a huge company, and so, so on, and so on, and I have some information, I can go to performance, I can see, I can see the change in last five months, one month, and so on, and so on, I see, for example, for Google, that, that we hear, we hear some kind of craze of last three months, six months, year, and so on, I see some good signs, for example, I have valuation, for example, this screen. And so I have a lot of information in this screener. I can use that information, maybe create some my machine learning model for prediction and so on. But what I do regarding to Wix, what I do is I monitor Wix and I'm trying when I buy Google stock, for example, very often I'm trying to do that where market is stable and there is no fear in global market and I'm buying then and sometimes I can buy during the volatility market when the uh, Wix is high but only if I see that Google is rising because some important good news and I hope that in the moment with market is stabilized become stable in that moment I hope that my stock uh, will rise more and more so I like to watch weeks to see what is the volatility maybe will market be stable next month this is the information that I want to just feel to assume for the next month or next couple months this is the one thing I want to see S&P 500 to see whole market to see is it rising is everything okay because it's some strange thing if a whole stocks on s&p 500 going down it's not smart to trade and buy something because there is a high probability that that this industry will be affected too and this is the this is the the thing very simple how i use wix wix uh just just to 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 get some some feel about the market and about stability of market only for stability so always when you trade either if you trade stocks if you trade forex on anything just a lot of analysis a lot of fundamental and technical analysis try to have as much triggers as you can for example if i have few excellent fundamental triggers to buy 
and I have excellent trigger, for example, because uh, simple moving prices above simple moving average 200 and it's a strong bullish trend. And I have a couple triggers for buy in fundamental and technical analysis. I'm sure that it's a smart to go in that trade. So Wix, we can use as same as S&P 500 index. Sometimes when we create decision to buy or not to buy some stock, why not? Just more analysis cannot stop us to make our goals. So in this video, this is it. I wish you great day and bye bye.